Hello, my beautiful Taurus. How are you guys? If you guys are new here, welcome. And if you've been with me for a while, welcome back. I hope you guys all had an amazing holiday. I know it's a little different than what we're used to, but I hope it was still amazing nonetheless. I cannot believe that we are to our December monthly reading, but here we are. It is a general reading, guys, so it's not going to resonate for every one of you. Just take what's for you and leave the rest. It is energy, so the roles could be reversed. If you need to flip-flop the roles around for it to resonate, please feel free to do so. Information for scheduling personal readings is in the description box below. And guys, your first reading with me is $10 off if that's something that you wish to take advantage of. And if you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you hit that notification bell, then when our monthlies, mid-monthlies, and weekly check-ins are uploaded, you guys can be notified and you can come hang out. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver very clear messages with a very clear understanding from my beautiful Taurus for the month of December. May the messages that need to be heard the most please come through. May they please hear those who need to hear them. Very clear messages with a very clear understanding, please. For my beautiful Taurus, for the month of December. One more shuffle, guys. Very clear messages, please. For my beautiful Taurus. Taurus. Let's see what we got going on. So the overall energy for the reading, the reading that it, or the energy that is supporting every other card in this reading, everything else is going to be kind of tied right back to this energy is the Knight of Wands in reverse. So Taurus, I feel like there's definitely a separation here, and I feel I feel like there's a lot of in and out energy. I feel like the person that you were dealing with, um, you know, they were kind of hot and cold, really in it and very connected, and you guys had a great relationship one minute, and then the next minute. You know, they would just like shut it off almost. Um, almost become a different person. Just disconnect from you totally. I feel like I'm definitely, this, I'm definitely feeling a really big in and out energy. A little bit of a player energy, but more of just like somebody who's really indecisive. Somebody who doesn't know what they want and they don't know what direction to go and they don't, they're just very unsure about themselves. But I am feeling a little bit of a player-esque energy. And I think it's just maybe not so much that they're a player, because it really doesn't feel like that. It's more of like an energy of them, you know, maybe when you're, they would be off with you, they would be talking or flirting with somebody else or seeing what else was out there, keeping their options open. Um, I don't necessarily get big cheating vibes, but I do feel like, you know, they, they kept their options open when they weren't, <clears throat> you know, doing really great with you. I feel like, I do feel like there's a lot of regret here with this person. I do feel like this person regrets the way that they treated you, regrets what happened between you. Um, I do feel like they regret that in and out energy, but I feel like it's one of those, like, it's a little or too little too late is kind of the same expression that's coming to my mind. It feels like it's a little too little or too little too late. And it also feels like, I feel like you, Taurus, feel like they're just... They're not sorry they did it, but they're sorry they got caught, you know. 
Um, I think it's probably a little bit of both. They are showing up as the five of cups here in their reverse. So right now, you know, I feel like you guys have been separated. I don't think that this is something super fresh. Um, you know, I think that you guys have been separated for a minute. I do feel like they do feel bad. They do regret things, um, the way things transpire between the two of you. They do regret the way that things went between the two of you guys. Um, I feel like they regret hurting you. Yeah, because they see that they could have had that deep, soulful connection with you. Two of Cups, that's what they regret. They regret losing the love that you guys shared together. They regret losing the connection that you guys had. I feel like they took it for granted, and because they weren't 100% sure of what they wanted, maybe they have somebody who has like commitment issues. You know, um, I definitely can get that out of the Knight of Wands. I feel like maybe because they weren't sure... Um, Whatever their reasoning is for that in and out kind of on and off behavior, um, it's still not acceptable because you deserve more than that. And I feel like that's why you had to walk away because not only were they being in and out, but I do feel like they were probably keeping their options open and talking to other people and stuff when they were off with you. Now, I think when you guys were good, you guys were really good. Um, but when you weren't, you know, you deserve better than that. So I feel like that's what kind of ended this here and I do feel like they regret it because I feel like now that you're not in their life now that they're they don't have this anymore um now they're really regretting it now they're really realizing you know what they had with you now they're seeing the value of the connection that you guys had and I feel like they couldn't see that before you know they were kind of like you don't appreciate what you have until you don't have it kind of thing I think you're trying to move forward you're trying to move on um, I feel like you feel like you have no other choice. That's the way it feels. But you do think that there's better, you know that there's better things meant for you. I feel like you're just trying to balance everything. You have the two of pentacles. So I feel like, I feel like this kind of shook you a little bit because I do feel like there was a lot of love between you and this person. So now it's just, you know, trying to rebuild, trying to regain your footing, trying to figure out where to go from here. You know, that's a normal thing. That's a normal space to be in after a connection. Now, this person, I don't believe that you guys are talking right now. I really don't. Taurus, um, the Eight of Wands in the reverse. I feel like there's pretty much, yeah, and the Knight of Swords in reverse. So I definitely don't feel like you guys are talking right now. Um, but I feel like it's because you guys haven't been talking that this person has had time to really think about what they've done. And... They definitely want they definitely want a reconciliation. And I feel like they're trying to be patient about it. Um, because they know, I feel like they know that you're upset and they know that you're not, you don't want that right now. I feel like they know you don't want to talk to them, or they feel like you don't want to talk to them. So they're trying to, you know, they got the temperance and the and the judgment. I feel like they want to reconcile, but they're trying to give you your space right now. They're trying to be patient with you because I feel like they feel like if they approach you right now, it's not going to go well. Yeah, and the challenge is the Eight of Swords in the Reverse, or the Ace of Swords in the Reverse. So I feel like they don't know how to communicate with you. They don't know how to tell you the truth. They don't know how to, you know, how to explain what they were going through before and what was their mindset before. And they don't know how to do it in a way that you would believe them now. That's kind of the energy. I feel like they feel like you wouldn't be very receptive. The star card. They really want this with you, though. They really want to reconcile with you. I just feel like, Taurus, they they know how much they hurt you. And they know that you, you know, it wasn't easy for you to leave. But the fact that you did, um, I feel like they feel like there's they can't get you back. They don't know how to communicate with you. Um, they don't know how to express all this to you. And I feel like they feel like you wouldn't, you wouldn't accept them back. So I feel like they're trying to be patient right now. With the temperance here, I'm really getting that they're just being patient, trying to wait for the right time to try to reconcile with you. Um, but they want it. They're seeing this is like everything they want, their wish fulfillment, their hope. I feel like they're trying to give you some time to heal as well. But the star card is also about healing. So is the temperance. So I feel like they're trying to give you a little bit of time to, you know, to process, to heal. Um, pull off is kind of the word that... That's kind of what I'm thinking. They're trying to give you some time to cool off. They know you're upset. 
So they're not, you know, there's no communication going on right now. This person, I definitely feel like they have a lot of um, shadow work they need to do. They have a lot of inner stuff going on. Um, they have the Queen of Wands in the reverse. So this is a person who doesn't, you know, they're not confident. They're not sure about themselves. I feel like it's a very self sabotage -y kind of behavior. I feel like when something starts going good for them, you know, they, I don't even think they realize that they do it. But because of their shadow, I'm getting really drawn to the cat there. Because of their shadow stuff, because of their traumas, because of, you know, stuff that they've been through in the past, there's stuff that they still need to work on, stuff that they still need to heal from. You know, they sabotage it. And I feel like that's what this was, that's what this was. And now they're starting to see, like, damn, what did I do? What did I lose? You know, that was, Taurus was my everything. Like, we could have really had that. We had that two of cups, that soulful, deep connection. Like, what did I do? And they just don't know, they don't know how to get it back. They don't know how to get you guys back to good. So there, this is definitely a very unconfident person. They don't know what direction to go in. They have a lot of healing that they need to do. Tell me about the high priestess, please. Why is the high priestess here? The sign of sword. Like I said, they're really trying to listen to their intuition. Um, I'm getting two different messages from this. So they're trying to listen to their intuition, intuition, but they are kind of lying to themselves because they have that very self sabotage you know, behavior. But they're really trying to see through that. They're trying to see through the illusion um, and, like, really see to the truth in the heart of the matter with themselves. Um, I'm also, like, really getting that you're... This is also in the immediate future. So I do feel like they're going to be doing the work on themselves, trying to, like, really figure themselves out and hopefully stopping with the self sabotage behavior. But Taurus, I'm also like getting a very strong message for you that, you know, I do feel like this person will communicate. I don't know that it's going to be, you know, right now. I still, like I said, I feel like they're really trying to give you your time to cool off, um, your time to heal. They're trying to figure out if you'll even accept them. They have a lot of stuff they're trying to deal with too. And I feel like they don't want to come back until they've worked on this stuff. Because I feel like they're recognized now that they, you know, they have some of this, that there's some issues here with themselves. So I don't feel like they don't want to come back to you until they've gotten to like the heart of the matter within themselves. But I feel like Taurus, when they do, yeah, my throat is like feeling funny. So I feel like this person just really is having a hard time expressing and communicating, um, you know, how they feel. I feel like they don't even really know, like why they think the things they do or why they feel the things that they do especially when it comes to like this connection i feel like there's a lot of trauma stuff there um but i feel like when they do communicate you're going to have a hard time deciphering what's true and what's not i feel like with the seven of swords being the high priestess you're going to have a hard time and you're going to really be trying to rely on your gut instinct your intuition on whether this person is being genuine or not I think what you're afraid of is just putting more time into this person and it ending up the same because in your hopes and fears like you want you have the king of pentacles this is telling me that you want stability you want long term you want commitment but you don't want to waste your time and i feel like that's why it's showing up in your fears as well is because you're afraid of putting more time into this person and into this connection and it ending the same way tell me about the king of pentacles judgment yeah you're that's that's exactly what it is you're worried about reconciling with them and putting more time in it than you already have you don't want to waste your time you want that long-term stable relationship that commitment and you're like if i'm gonna you know put my time and my energy and my heart into something i want it to be something long-term and lasting i don't want to waste my time so i feel like you both are kind of feeling a little bit lonely without each other um I feel like this really kind of, I think it hurt because I feel like it made you for a second question yourself. Maybe like why you weren't enough, why this person, you know, did the things that they did. But I feel like you've gotten a pretty good stable place where you realize that it was them and not you. It's their issues, not you. Um, 
but I do feel like with the Five of Pentacles here, I do feel like you guys are both feeling a little bit lonely and a little bit, you know, upset and without each other. You guys both feel kind of, it's kind of an odd, it's like a mutual energy I'm feeling is from both of you. I'm like, you're a little lonely and upset with this person for, you know, being in and out and you feel a little abandoned by them, even though I think you were the one that walked away. I feel like they, you feel like they made you, like they didn't give you another choice. And I feel like they do understand why you left. And I feel like it's more of just like a little, a lonely energy. So I feel like you guys are both missing each other. You guys are both lonely. I do feel like there is a chance with the Ace of Pentacles being here. I do feel like if you guys communicate and if this person really does, um, because I do see them trying to figure this out, you know, trying to look within themselves, trying to go within, trying to gain the clarity, trying to figure out what they're doing, recognizing that it's self-sabotaging behavior, recognizing what they have with you. I do, I do feel all that. So I do feel like if this person really does put the shadow work in, really does work on themselves, really does, you know, have these big realizations and, um, and you're willing to be forgiving and, you know, accepting and, and you want a second chance, this is all on you. It's it, your balls in your court, Taurus. You know, I do feel like, um, there definitely would be a good possibility that that could happen with the Ace of Pentacles being here. Um, it would be a, a new solid opportunity and with it being a Pentacles, I really do feel like it's got a lot of potential to be very long-term, very stable, very committed with the Queen of Pentacles. So you have that you're showing up as the Queen of Pentacles and they're coming up as the, you know, clarified by the Queen of Pentacles. So I do feel like you guys could have that connection that you wanted to, but this is all about the King and the Queen of Pentacles are both very nurturing, compassionate, understanding. And I feel like that's what it would take um, from the both of you to really you know, get this new opportunity off the ground. You both have to be very forgiving, caring, compassionate, and understanding towards each other. Um, but as well as, I feel like it's the energy of needing to take it slow, but really nurture the connection because the king and the queen of pentacles are both very nurturing energies. Um, and it's also, their, their pentacles, their earth energy, they're very slow moving. They take the time. So I feel like, there's potential here for, you know, a second chance and for it to be very long-term and meaningful. Um, but you guys would have to, like I said, be very nurturing to yourselves, to each other, to the connection. Um, and you guys, I would have to take it slow um, and just build yourselves there because you guys both have some, you know, you have some hurts and stuff from the connection and your other person has some issues that they need to work through as well. So... That's what I'm seeing for you guys for December. Now, those of you guys have been with me for a while know that I love Oracle cards. So we're going to use them now to get confirmation, clarification, and advice. All right. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Can we get some confirmation, clarification, or advice for my beautiful Taurus that are going through this situation for the month of December? Confirmation, clarification, or advice for my beautiful Taurus, please. I got one that fell out. Let's see if we can get you one more. Confirmation, clarification, or advice, please. Ooh, there we go. We have love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. And this is the romance of a lifetime, true love. Yeah, I'm really... This is exactly the energy, like the message I just gave you guys. This is just that confirmation for that, that you guys both have to, you know, you did love yourself enough and know your worth enough to walk away um, when this person was, you know, not treating you the way that you needed to be treated. Um, but this is also about this person needing to put the, it's about putting the work in on yourselves to get yourselves where you guys need to be. You know, it's with the cups, with love. Everybody in the tarot wants the Ten of Cups, that, you know, complete emotional fulfillment, that happily ever after. But you guys got to re realize you got to collect all nine before you get to the ten. And the ninth cup is all about being emotionally satisfied and, and good and healed within yourself. So once you guys get to that place where you guys are working on your stuff and you're, you know, in a healthy place, that's when you guys can have this. Um, there, like I said, there is a, you guys got a matched pair here. Um, there is a lot of potential. This could be your forever person. This could be your true love. 
Um, but you guys have to be able to, you have to work on yourselves first. This person has to be able to, you know, work on the stuff that damaged the connection in the first place. So let's see what else we can get you. I feel like that was just a big confirmation. Can I please get a couple of Moonology messages from my beautiful Taurus that are going through this situation in the month of December? What messages do you have for them? What messages do you have for my beautiful Taurus? Ooh. There we go. Your hard work is paying off new moon in Capricorn. Yes. I feel like, Taurus, like I said, I feel like you've been working on yourself. And I feel like, you know, if you guys continue that energy, it's going to go really well. Luck is on your side and the energy is gaining momentum. Yeah. So, like I said, I feel like you guys have an absolute shot here for a second chance. Um, and I do feel like that energy is gaining momentum. That's definitely what your person's working up to. That's what, you, you know, I feel like you've gotten yourself in a good enough place that you're ready for that. Um, and luck is on your side. You know, the universe is backing this um, as long as you guys do your work. That's kind of the energy that I'm feeling. The universe is definitely backing this for you if you do your work. If not, it's going to start another cycle, you know, and be another hard lesson. So just make sure... Just make sure where you guys are at before you start. That's the one thing that reconciliations, you know, when they really don't work, it's because people, you know, didn't do any healing and they brought all the stuff from their first time into the second and it kind of just ends up, you know, ending where you guys left off the last time. Let's see what angel oracle messages we got for you. Archangel Uriel, your emotions are healing, which enables you to open to greater love. I will help you release anger and unforgiveness from your heart and your mind. Oh my goodness, that almost made me teary eye. I could not have picked a better card. This is your angels, your spirit guides, your ancestors. They're letting you know that you, they are with you through this. Um, it did make me tear up. Okay. I love when they give confir confirmation like that. Um, they want to help you have this great love. They want this, you know, they want you to have that love that you deserve. And they know that there's some healing. They know that there's some you know, resentments and some hurts from what this person has done to you, Taurus. And this is all about them telling you, we are going to help you work through that. We want you to have the love that you deserve, whether it's with this person or with somebody else. Even if you don't want this person, you deserve a grand love, Taurus. And they want you to have that. They're going to help you heal and release the things that you need to so that you can have that. Let's see. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progress. This is all about manifesting, guys. So this is saying watch your thoughts. Um, you are absolutely manifesting things. And if you want to manifest a new love, you can. If you want to manifest this person back in, you can. So just really watch your thoughts. But don't be negative because whatever your guys' beliefs are, especially around love or anything, is what you guys are going to see a reflection back of. So if you believe that every connection that you get into is going to turn out like this. That's what's going to happen. If you guys believe that, you know, everyone you meet is going to hurt you, that's what you're going to see a reflection of. If you believe that true love is really hard to find or people don't really change, whatever the belief is, that's what the universe is going to show you evidence of. It's what it's going to reflect back to you. So it's really important that you guys sit down and spend some time with yourselves and figure out what your beliefs are around love, around anything, money, whatever it is that you're trying to manifest, you need to figure out what your beliefs are around those things. All right, guys, I hope that this was helpful. When I do these videos, my biggest, my biggest goal, my biggest thing with this is that I want you guys to leave here with something, whether it was some clarity, some hope, some confirmation, encouragement, or sheer entertainment. I hope that you guys got something out of this. Um, if you guys know the deal, if you guys have been watching me, you know how it works. If you guys want prayers for any reason, you don't need to specify, put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below. And guys, I will pray for you personally. I'm sending you guys lots of love and light. Till next time.